Hello everyone. A subdued Easter Monday here. Uh, I hope yours is going well and that Easter Day was as joyful as possible for you. Uh, I'm going to begin by singing a, a, what I think is my favourite folk hymn of Easter, Now the Green Blade Riseth. Now the green blade riseth from the buried grain Wheat that in the dark earth many days has lain Love lives again that with the dead has been Love is come again like wheat that springeth green in the grave they laid him, love whom man had slain. The king that never he would wake again, laid in the earth like grain that sleeps unseen. Love is come again like wheat that springeth green. Forth he came at Easter, like the risen grain. He that for three days in the grave had lain. Quick from the dead, my risen Lord is seen. Love is come again, like wheat that springeth green. When our hearts are wintry, grieving or in pain, Thy touch can call us back to life again. Fields of our hearts that dead and bare have been, Love is come again like wheat that springeth green. Fields of our hearts that dead and bare have been. Love is come again like wheat that springeth green. I love that hymn. I think it's full of earthiness and resurrection and it feels right for today. Uh, folk hymns have always been for me a really important way into faith and and have felt where I've been able to see earth and heaven, those two kingdoms that we spoke about a week or two ago, uh, meeting. And and as Bonhoeffer said, there, there aren't actually two kingdoms. Uh, there is, there's only one kingdom in Christ uh, and that's where earth and heaven meet, uh, which is where it's at. Um, when I was growing up, Easter Monday was for me even more significant than Easter Day, I think, actually, um, because we took part in uh, the Easter Monday youth pilgrimage to St Albans Abbey. My, my dad was a, a parish priest in St Albans Diocese, which is the regional uh, uh, part of the Church of England, and um, in Hertfordshire and Bedfordshire. And wherever uh, you lived in, in the diocese, youth groups and Sunday schools would converge on the abbey, part of the way or all of the way, sleeping overnight, sometimes in church halls. And we'd, we'd arrive, uh, draw near to St Albans and see people's banners uh, at the gathering and we'd all uh, flow in through the great west doors of the abbey to the swelling sound of the organ. It was a remarkable uh, experience, memorable too. And the first time that I felt kind of lifted on this rising tide of, of praise and um, almost as significant at the door. <laughs> uh, stewards would be holding trays of, of little badges with that year's theme and date and the, and the diocesan shield on it. Seems so in insignificant, doesn't it? But I've, I've still got them. They were really important for me and, and I'd, I'd wear them. You'd put them on your banner or on your coat and, and as a as mark of pride, I mean, going for this number of years. Uh, and uh, those little uh, emblems and, and, and mementos are so significant, aren't they? Uh, we have to find ways uh, into faith that, that feel like us um, and uh, ways of approach 
to Jesus uh, in our own pathway. Uh, so my prayer is that you will find your your way to to Christ this Easter season, um, and God bless you as you go to ground.